Hey, this is Jax coming back at you. Thanks for joining me. Uh, it's been a rough week. I, I can tell you that honestly. It has been a really rough week. Uh, <laughs> so, still working 11 hours a day for probably another week or two before uh, the, the child I work with will be no longer needing the assistance. But I've been sick all week. And I mean really, like just destroyed sick. I'm turning down get-togethers with people I would normally be like, yeah, yeah, let's do that, do that. Just can't do it. Uh, thankfully, this weekend, I have been able to avoid running myself down too much. I've been able to catch up on some sleep, and I've started taking uh, some cold meds, so I'm feeling a little better. Hopefully I'll be able to get through this week without feeling like the walking dead, or, you know, looking like the walking dead. We'll see. Yesterday, I'm very excited about this, I got out to see Rogue One, a Star Wars story. And in case you can't tell, I am a Star Wars fan. Always have been, always will be. You know, it's up there with Doctor Who in my book. One of the two of them is eventually going to end up tattooed on my arm. So, I was really excited to see this. I gotta say, it's a great movie. A lot darker than usual. You know, it, more like a war movie than a Star Wars movie. But, good. Really good. You know, it, it's a fitting part of the series, even if it's not technically part of the progression. Now, on my comments uh, page, I asked you guys to post things that uh, you want me to talk about. And Unity said she wanted me to talk about, well, she said first off more about Kenji. Kenji's not happy right now because he started water bottle training you know, to keep him off my desk primarily. Um, and also she asked me about how to connect with kids. That's something I always found a little bit strange in my field. That so many people, even people who are trained to work with kids, don't really try to make that connection in a lot of cases. They have this mindset that I'm the adult, you're the child, you will do as you are told. Mm, we don't need a relationship of any kind, I am the adult. It doesn't work, okay? You really do have to make a connection with people. Now, you know, and in your case, because you messaged me as well, mentioning something about having children at some point, I'd say it's not really applicable to having children what I'm talking about here, because if you have children, they're growing with you, that connection is already there. Okay? You will have no problem connecting to your child in the event that you have one. Okay? But when you work with kids or when you want to deal with kids in any capacity, there are key elements to making a connection. Uh, for me, the first has always been respecting them. Okay? Children are not pets. They are people, okay? And so I'm not going to talk to kids the way that a lot of people do. You know, they go straight to, the, oh, honey, it's okay. It's phony. Kids are not fooled. And, I mean, it works for some people. I've never gone that route. I've worked with kids a year and a half and younger even. And I've never had a problem forming connections with them, but I've also never had to go to baby voice not once. It's just, maybe it's just not my style. Um, instead, I talk to them like they're people, because to my mind, they are. Uh, second thing, actually liking them, both as a group, as in liking children in general, and liking specific children. Because if you can't see the good even in a child who has issues, who is difficult to deal with, then you're never going to form that connection. 
they can tell when you're lying. They can tell when you're a fake. They don't fall for it, and you won't get that bond. If you don't have that bond, that troublesome child is going to be even more troublesome. Another thing that's worked for me, especially with the older kids, is really researching and getting into their interests. Now, this has led me to some strange places over the years. Uh, back in London, I had a group of girls who were obsessed with Hannah Montana, and so I watched every single episode of that show, just so I could talk to them. It wasn't the finest viewing I've ever had, believe me, but it allowed me to talk to them about a subject that interested them, and it gave us a basis for communication. Other things I've had to take on, uh, I've seen every Tinkerbell movie. They're better than you think. They're not good, but they're better than you think. Uh, I've seen every Disney princess movie. Okay, I actually like those. Disney makes good movies. Um, I watched, uh, what was that? Mermaid show. H2O, Just Add Water, or something like that. Girls turn into mermaids. Anyway, I watched a bunch of that. And uh, more recently, and probably the most successful thing that I've adopted because of the kids is Pokemon cards. Now, don't get me wrong, I already knew about Pokemon. I grew up on it, I played the original Game Boy version of Pokemon Red, I had Charizard as my starting, or no, sorry, Charmander as my starting Pokemon. I've played Pokemon Go since then, but Pokemon cards were something that did not interest me until about maybe two years ago, maybe less, when I noticed that the kids were collecting them all the time. But they didn't seem to know how to play with them. They made their own rules, which led to constant, constant arguments about, you know, how to play, what the powers did, what the energy cards were for, half the kids didn't have energy cards. And for my own edification, and just to end the fighting, I actually learned how to play the game. I went online, I downloaded the online version that runs you through everything on it, and then I started collecting the cards. The kids love it. The kids love being able to talk to me about Pokemon, being able to play Pokemon with me, being able to take my cards and play the game the way it was meant to be played, with fair rules. And I ran with that. I ran with that at my last center, I ran with that at this center actually. To this point, I've probably taught 50, 60 kids how to play the game. And I don't regret it for a moment. It gives me something to do with them that they enjoy. It gives us something to talk about. They're learning math skills. They're learning literacy skills. As an educational aid goes, Pokemon cards, honestly, two thumbs up. Really. Give it a shot. Now, what will be the next trend? I don't know. I, I'm constantly watching out for it though, like you can see the shelves behind me, I collect toys, I play video games, I, I've done the Minecraft thing because the boys wanted to talk about it, I've done Agario, Slitherio, there's another one of those EO ones that I can't remember now, tried that as well. Again, all to make these connections, to, well, plus, I'm a kid at heart. I like this stuff too. Maybe that's why it's so easy for me to think of kids as people rather than just as kids, because we do share some of the same interests despite my advanced age. Anyway, I hope that helps, Yuna. Look for common ground, respect them as people, and genuinely like them to the best of your ability. I haven't met a kid yet that I couldn't like on some level. But I'm told there are some who are just not likable. I'll believe it when I see it. All right. Now, if you've noticed I've got this kind of light issue going on here, I've had yet more technical difficulties um, in that now I don't have any form of lighting. I'm actually having to use my iPhone, or not my iPhone, my uh, Android phone's light shined up against a white box to get some reflection to light up my face, because uh, the first few times I tried to record this video, I was like just 
dark completely. Uh, I guess the lighting in this room is not good for videos. And even as I'm looking at it on the screen here, I can see darkness going on on the other side of my face. Uh, so I'm going to work on the technical side of things. Uh, and uh, once again, guys, if you enjoyed this video and you want to hear from me more often, I need your comments, I need your likes, I need your shares. The further I go on this journey, the more important it's going to be to get support from, you know, all of you. <laughs>